be making bases. What's up, YouTube? Be Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now, today we're going to be going over the quickest way to make a Drake slash Tory Lanez type beat in Logic Pro 10. All right. So first things first, let's go ahead and start with a software instrument track. All right. Now, instead of actually going with the quick sampler, I'm going to actually go ahead and pull up Omnisphere. And listen, if you don't have Omnisphere, don't worry. You could always use Alchemy. But for this tutorial, we're going to be using Omnisphere because it has better sounds and stuff like that. So um, we're going to open up Omnisphere here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and use uh, Superstar O's preset bank. I'm going to check out some sounds from here. So let's see what we can do to come up with something. So first things first, maybe let's look at some simps. Cool. So we're gonna work with that sound. I'm gonna see what I can come up with. We're gonna do some sampling, a whole bunch of stuff. All right, cool. So we'll just do that. I'm actually gonna show y'all what I'm playing here. Do musical typing. Cool. So I know it's not typically a way you would start off with, say, an R&B poppish type beat, but I'm gonna show y'all some things here. So check this out. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna take this uh, BPM up a little bit. Let's check it out now. And then next thing, I'm, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, right click on this joint and then do. Force Legato basically brought all those notes, made them smoother, okay, by bringing them to the very end of the next note or the beginning of the next note. So check that now. All right, cool. So now that we have that, I'm gonna add to the melody, bring up some more of these sounds, and see what we could do to add to it and make it just a little bit more melodic. So it's not just that one thing here. I'm going to go with some plucks on this one and see what we can come up with.
Bet. So we got our melody together now. Um, let's keep on going. I'm going to basically go ahead and move on to drums. I already have an 808 ready to go, so we'll start off with this one. Uh -oh. I want to see me play this. So has like some elements from trap, but it also has like it could it could definitely go like a pop Tory Lanez vibe, you feel me? So we could just go ahead and start naming some of these. I think this is a plug. Alright, cool. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and start building the rest of the beat here. Um, we just need a little bit of percussion, and we're good, pretty much good, be good to go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just bring in a basic clap, and we'll come over here to step sequencer, and literally that's gonna do our clap. We're just gonna keep building this, add just a few more sounds. Let's do a, a snare.
And what I'll do is I'm also gonna add a little bit more going on with this uh, with the hi hats. This is actually starting to turn out harder than I thought it was going to, but hey, we're going to keep it going. All right, so now let's go ahead and just um, add like an open hi-hat. I don't even know if I have any open hi-hats on here, so what I can do is just go here and grab one of my own. For this one, I'm actually going to just play it. And then pretty much uh, from here, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and add like a uh, drum, like a drum pattern, like some basic kick. And so um, I can pull a kick from anywhere. We can grab it from splice or whatever. It doesn't matter where you grab the kick from. Um, This one sounds pretty nice, so we'll grab that and drag it in. Let's check and see. So anyway, y'all, that's pretty much uh, today's video. Made this beat right here. Um, hopefully, it wasn't too drawn out. I did start taking my time on here, but I just wanted to give y'all a couple of tips. I know there was one tip that I shared on here with the hi-hats. Um, just going over here and pushing note, and you can up and down push that on there to make something different for your hi-hats up. But 
Anyway, y'all, you want to see anything else, let me know in the comment section below, okay? I'm going to do my best to get all the videos out as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for part two because I'm going to be uh, showing you the quickest way to actually arrange this into song format in Logic Pro 10 as well. Anyway, make sure you go to my beat, my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have full-fledged video courses that you can download and have hours and hours of content, as well as loop packs and drum kits that you can direct, grab from our site as well. Make sure you go to the site, beatmakingbasics.com, okay? It's going to really help your your, uh, your your beats out. Make sure you, you know, get your beats up to par. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.